Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name's Aubrey for those who are new and thanks so much for being here. Uh, I'm pretty excited for today's video because um, a couple weeks ago I discovered a site that is not new by any means, but I discovered it for myself a few weeks ago and I found some pretty cute clothes on the site that I thought were gonna be perfect because they were plus size, they were cheap, and I figured, well, while I'm going through this you know, weight loss journey, I don't wanna spend a lot of money on clothes that in a couple months won't fit me anymore. So I, um, the website I'm referring to is Sheen, or Sheen, Sheen? I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but oh well. Um, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try on the clothes that I bought, talk about um, the quality, and give my honest review about the site itself. So if you are interested in seeing what I bought and hearing about my opinion for Shein, then make sure you keep on watching. I don't know what that was. <laughs> so. so let's get started on the haul. Now, I'll be honest with you, I actually tried three different times buying from their site. The first two times were basically just complete failures. Now, the first time I bought, there was one shirt I really liked, but then I just felt like it was still too big in the bust area, so I sent that back for a, a smaller size. And then the second time around, I did find one tank top that I liked, and I saved those two things for this haul so you could see it all together, so I'll talk about those later. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it and start showing you everything I did get from Shein, and then I'll try everything on so you can see. So to begin with, one thing that I found that's kind of weird is that some of their clothes don't have tags and some of the clothes can look like they can be worn both ways. So it's just kind of funny after you try it on and realize, oh, this is backwards, but whatever. This does have a tag. This is a 1X shirt and it's just really cute. It's flowy and it's a pretty color, nice for summer. Um, I, of course, will wear a tank underneath it, like a camisole underneath it or camisole underneath it, but it's just really cute. And I like this up here because it, makes it to where it doesn't just fall off your shoulders. But again, I love the print. Now, I, the thing about this is that the quality is actually pretty nice. Like, it's breathable, but it's not too thin. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this shirt here. Um, the next shirt I got, this is actually, it's funny because there's two of these. The original one I'll show you first that I got that I just loved. And then I'll show you that second one. Now, this one I ended up wearing in one of my previous videos. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a, it's kind of the same kind of shirt. I just feel like these are so flattering, especially for me because I'm not a big fan of my tummy. And so it really kind of like conceals my tummy. But then I also love the arms because they're nice and wide and just flowy. So they're not too tight on my arms. But then this print is just so pretty, isn't it? And then I love this detail where it wraps in front. Now, this is the one where originally I got a 1X, but I ended up sending it back and I got a 0XL. So I'm guessing that's just regular XL. I'm not quite sure how that happens, but um, I really like this size more. Now, because I love that shirt so much, they had multiple colors, and so I got a second color because I was like, why not? But this is what's so weird about their site, is that same, same shirt entirely, same arm, same length, same style, and I had to get a 1X in this one because the bust was different. So... I feel like there's definitely a discrepancy with their sizing because you can't even go off, like don't even go off their sizing chart. It is just absolutely, it's not going to help you at all. Like you literally have to measure yourself and then each piece of article of clothing that you look at online and each size they offer, you have to look at the measurements on those sizes because that's the only way you'll find clothes that fit you. And then still, you're not gonna find everything that you buy fits you the way it should. So um, this is another cute shirt that I love. Now this shirt um, I got because I just thought it was so cute. Paris, I know it might be backwards, but whatever. So I just thought it was so cute and I love the sleeves. It's really nice and stretchy and just a cute white shirt with just simple print on it. And I thought it might be cute if I could find like a cute pair of like black pants or something. Now. The second time around, I was buying clothes from Shein. I bought this really cute black pleated skirt that had these like almost like overall um, straps that go right here. And I was like, ooh, that would be perfect for this. And when I got it, it just, the pleated skirt was terrible. And so I'm like, now I don't know what to wear with this because it's a little too too short that I like. But um, 
yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this. So this might just kind of be sent back or maybe used for just lounging around the house. I don't know. Um, now this is a tank that I got the second time around that I really loved. I actually ended up wearing this in one of my videos too. And that's really cute. Like you can wear it by itself or you can wear it with a jacket. But I just love pineapples. And it's a perfect length and the stripes, I love vertical stripes. Like today I'm wearing horizontal stripes and I'm looking at myself and I'm not the biggest fan of them. But I do love vertical stripes on clothing because I feel like it's just a lot more flattering. Um, so yeah, that's a keeper for sure. And I, I had just bought a new blazer that I love so much from Kohl's. It's just all black and it's got nice sleeves. So I wanted to get some tank tops that I could wear underneath it. And so I got this right here, except I don't know, like, and you'll see when I try it on, it's way too short for my liking, but um, also it just comes kind of up to, I don't know, I'm just not the biggest fan of this one. Um, so that was, that's, that's a maybe send back. Now, I saw this because I had been looking for one at like American Eagle, and then I even found one at Old Navy, but it was still like $20 to get a tank. And I'm like, I just want a, t a white tank to just be able to wear through this summer. And so I found this, it was like nine bucks. And it's kind of weird though. So you'll see what I tried on, what I mean. So I'm not sure about that either. Now this piece, I was so excited to try on. Ooh, all my clothes are falling because I want some more dresses and um, I just don't have them a lot. But if I, if I do, they're just not ones I wanna wear in the summer. So I got this because online it looked so cute. And um, then when I got it, and like even like on the model, it was really cute. I did the measuring and I thought it was gonna be good and then I tried it on and it, you'll see what I mean. I'm gonna try it on for you even though it looks terrible, but it's so pretty. So this is it. It's just a navy blue dress with some really pretty floral print on it. It's got a nice cute little, um, what's that called, belt that you can tie around you. And it's really, like the length is perfect. I just love that print so much. And it's nice and lightweight. So I'm really disappointed that it's not gonna work out because I'm afraid even if I go up a size, it's gonna be too big where it's, it fits perfectly right now. You know what I mean? Now, another tank I got that I actually really like is this one. So it's just nice and simple. It's got this really pretty lace um, detail on the front, which I like because it brings it up a little bit higher. And then it's just black and white stripe. And it will be perfect with my blazer. So that's a keeper. Um, I got this, and I'm so disappointed because my arms are literally the same size. <laughs> Both of my arms. And this one fits me tighter on my right arm than it does on my left. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this. It's just a really long, it's like a tunic style um, button up. And I like it because it does have short sleeves, but I love, I love tiny polka dots. I'm not a big fan of large polka dots on fabric, but I love tiny polka dots. And the navy blue, oof, I just think I found a good color for my skin. Navy blue looks great on me. But um, I might keep it if I can find like a cute long cardigan to kind of like hide that the sleeves are a bit too tight. Now, I got this because it looked really cute on the girl, but it was it's, a, it's supposed to be a dress, but it's so short that I would never wear it as a dress myself. But I just thought, oh, that'd be cute with a pair of leggings or even a cute pair of like skinny jeans. And so I got it and again, measured myself and it's way too tight in the arms. And I'll show you what I mean when I try it on. But it's really cute still. I love the vertical stripes, as you can tell. I have a pattern that I love. And it comes with a cute little belt that you can tie to kind of make it a little bit more, you know, um, feminine and flattering. And then the last piece of clothing I got from them was this dress. And I just thought it was so cute on the picture again. Everything is deceiving me. But it's just, I'll show you when I tried on. It's like way too big in the bust area. But I just thought it would have been perfect because, and honestly, maybe I just didn't pay attention. I just thought they were yellow flowers. But now that I'm looking at it, they're lemons, which I wouldn't keep regardless. I just realized that they're lemons. I'm such a dork. Oh my gosh. Good thing it didn't fit. But um, that's the, all the clothes I got from them. And um, because I was trying to get to a certain amount to get like $30 off and still get free shipping, I ended up getting some jewelry and I'm actually really disappointed in the jewelry. I mean, I can't really like, complain too much because it was super cheap, 
There's one pair of earrings I really do like, but then the others, I'll, tell, I'll show you in a second. So I got these. They're just these cute little like quartz crystal dangly earrings. I mean, they're not real by any means. They were $3. The only thing I worry about is that I'm going to break them by like trying to take them off or something. Those are cute. And then I got these and I thought that these were going to be so cute. And they actually are. They're actually pretty heavy. So I thought, oh, these are kind of nice quality, but I'll show you. It broke. And I was planning on wearing these with my pineapple shirt. I thought it would have been just so cute. So I need to tell them that these are broken. And then the last thing I got was just a, um, it was like a set of earrings, I guess you could say. <laughs> mm, don't know what I'm saying. But I got them for one pair in particular because I've been trying to find a pair of earrings like this for a very long time. And, um, okay, so do you see what I mean? Where am I? I've been trying to find a pair like this for a long time. I'm like holding all the other earrings. I'm so sorry. One second, let me put these down without losing them all. I'll put them in my shirt. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's try this again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so do you see this pair, like how it's like an open triangle? Yeah. So it's just supposed to like sit on your ear and like the openness is supposed to just kind of like sit right there. Does that make sense? These, they're way too big. They are terrible. Now, the one thing I like about the set of little earrings is that it comes with a ton of backs. But another thing I found is that a lot of them are broken. So that's cool. So I guess my honest opinion about Shein is that it's actually not too terrible. I'm not going to try and give them a bad rap or I really don't think that they're scamming people. Um, I mean, they all, they all, <laughs> they do offer free shipping and free returns. And so that right there tells me that they're not afraid of their products being low quality. If you don't love them, you can return them. And so um, I guess I just, if, if you're gonna make a purchase, the advice I'd give you is make sure you really pay attention to the measurements that is key because their size chart, like their general size chart, I just feel like it's, it doesn't really match their clothing. I feel like they maybe just pulled it off like a Target's website or something, I don't know. But um, also what I would do is maybe make a larger purchase, that way if not everything works out, you'll find some things that will work out for you and then it's not gonna be a complete waste of time. Will I ever shop there again? Probably not. I mean, three times is my limit for now. Um, and I definitely will keep some things, but I'm definitely gonna be returning some things as well. And um, even though it's kind of inconvenient to have to return, it's still nice that I can do it for free. So that's one thing that is nice again about them. But yeah, I guess that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching me try on these clothes. and. Give me your honest opinions about the things that I do like down in the comments below. I'd love to hear that, guys. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'm so appreciative for everyone that is part of my YouTube family now. And I love watching it grow. And even though I'm still little, it's a cute little family. And so thanks so much again for being here, guys. And um, I will see you next time. Bye.